Welcome back, guys. Uh, last night, I came across a pleasant surprise. I was um, going through the distributions that I have loaded on my hard drives in this m computer, the, my main machine, and I decided to uh, pay a visit to MX15's website when I discovered, lo and behold, unbeknownst to me, came out in June. I did not see an announcement on it. I didn't see it on DistroWatch. I went to their download list and I found that they had released MX15 Debian with the KDE desktop environment. Now for those of you who enjoy using KDE, I'm sure that will be a welcome surprise because MX15 has always been one of the best if not the best Debian uh, distribution. Now I'm not a uh, big fan of KDE and I'm not a uh, longtime user of KDE but I have to say that overall it looks like they've done a fantastic job with uh, in implementing the KDE desktop environment within Debian. I went through an update, worked fine, I uh, installed uh, Kazam, GUVC View, OpenShot, and SM Player, no issues at all. Um, everything looks terrific. The wallpaper, the desktop uh, itself, it's a dark theme. Um, if you're familiar with KDE, you may be right at home with it. I, as I said, am not a big KDE user, so it will take me a little bit of time to get used to it. Uh, on the right, lower right uh, along the panel, you have the uh, basically the equivalent of the system tray. Uh, there's volume, and then we have notifications and jobs, two, two notifications. Uh, SM Player, uh, SourceForge, and my wireless connection was activated. Then we have Kazam. Now this is interesting. There's a Bluetooth icon and there's another Bluetooth icon. Um, so Bluetooth is on and there are two. Uh, this is the uh, software update clipboard this is my wireless connection information so that's called KNEMO and then to the right we have uh, a uh, uh, USB device that's plugged in as I said that's Bluetooth hidden icons battery monitor uh, there is my wireless connection which it it configured my Broadcom right out of the box no problems whatsoever I did not have to install any drivers everything just worked beautifully there's the time and then this little icon here brings up the usual KDE uh, panel configuration. You can add widgets, add a spacer. There, there are more settings here. Um, screen, uh, the panel height, screen edge. So as I said for you KDE enthusiasts that will be something that you'll be um, adjusting I'm sure. I'm gonna leave it just the way it is a, you know just basic default out of the box. Uh, file manager dolphin as usual with KDE really nice nicely configured aesthetically the uh, the distribution is wonderful really I, I like the look of it now if we come over to the to the bottom right the um, bottom left the panel we've got show activity manager okay so that is again it's has to do with panels and widgets and activities and again 
that is uh, probably clear to you if you're a K KDE user. To, it's Greek to me. Okay, so we have the menu. Typical KDE menu. Very, very nice. Very well done. I'm surprised that there wasn't an announcement in DistroWatch. Then we have console, file manager, four desktops, workspaces, open windows. For software availability, let's take a look at what is available out of the box. For development, diffuse merge tool, education, you've got math, miscellaneous, and science, so there are LibreOffice, basically. For games, uh, arcade, so you've got a few different arcade games, board games, and then you've got Breakout. So there are a few uh, simple Linux games available. Okay, so back to graphics. We have Acquire Images, Digicam, DNG Converter, GIMP, Gwenview, Image Magic, Color Paint, K Snapshot. So it, it appears there's a wide variety of graphics applications. Internet. Firefox is a standard browser out of the box. Conqueror is also there. Again, it's the usual assortment of KDE software. Multimedia. Audio Mixer Clementine. I installed GUVC View. I installed Kazam. MPV is available. I installed OpenShot. I installed SM Player. Uh, VLC is available out of the box. For Office, LibreOffice. Settings, you've got your usual configuration options. Gparted is available out of the box. For System, again, Bleachbit, uh, Disk Manager, Dolphin, Gparted, Grub Customizer, GSmart Control, HTOP, and let's see if we go down to utilities and again you've got the normal Conkey Manager 2 hmm I'll have to play with that that probably has some new Conkeys and Clipper, Leafpad, KWrite wide variety of software excellent excellent job Conkey Manager 2 and you can import. I don't see any uh, default Conkeys but I'm sure you can import as many as you like from the internet and there's a wide variety available. So that is it guys. A, a very pleasant surprise. Uh, it's MX15 Debian with the KDE desktop environment. Now they still have the XFCE version available which is widely known and respected and I'm sure this one will uh, gain quite a following once people find out about it. So guys that is it for this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by the channel and I'll see you soon. Take care.